Hey guys, this is Shukesh Bonik and welcome to Gadgets Portal. This is the first episode of a very special tips and tricks series reviews on this awesome new Samsung Galaxy Note 3. I have already uploaded a couple of videos on this phone but in this series I am going to show you each and every corner of this phone in details and chapter wise so that you can easily follow. Now let's get started. When your phone is in idle mode resting on the table, if you wave your hand over the top part of the phone, you can get this type of notification. This is called quick glance and in this way you can check the time, missed calls, messages and even the battery status. Next when you pick up the phone, the phone will vibrate if you have a notification pending. This feature is called smart alert. Now you can turn on the display with the home button as well as with the power key. On the lock screen you can apply two types of effects and I have applied the old ripple effect you have seen on the Galaxy Note 2. With the S Pen you can get some cool effects on the lock screen. As you can see this is quite nice and this is called ink effect. You can change the color and you have to turn this feature on from the settings. Now as you know this phone is running on Android Jelly Bean 4.3. So you can place multiple widgets on multiple screens on the lock screen. These are the widgets you are getting out of the box. You can also open these widgets or apps right away. Just like this way. If you swipe down this clock, you can get the weather info and your schedule. Now you must have already noticed that. I have put some info here and you can put your emergency contact number especially if you have set a password then you should put a phone number in case of any emergency. There are a couple of quick launch applications here which can be launched with a single swipe and you can also customize this. If you swipe the screen to the left you can launch the camera. This is the fastest way of launching the camera and you have to basically enable this feature from the settings. Here under the multiple widgets, you can change this to favorite apps and now you will get your favorite applications instead of the camera. You can also replace these applications and add a new one. So you can do so many things without even unlocking the phone. Just imagine how many things you can do with the whole user interface. Samsung has introduced a new type of effect with this Note 3 and I am getting this effect just by hovering my finger over the display. I can do this with both finger and the S Pen. This is amazingly beautiful. Let me show you what are the things you should check from the settings. You should turn on these multiple widgets and you can check these lock widget options. There are a couple of other options you should also check. You can put your personal info that is the emergency contact number here. Let me show you this very beautiful feature. On the lock screen, you can launch these applications without even touching the display. Just with some voice commands you have predefined. You can put any command which can be a meaningful word or anything else with 3 to 5 syllables and this is quite cool. You can launch the camera with some arbitrary command which your friend cannot guess and you can also capture images with voice commands like shoot, capture, smile etc and even record video with command like record video. I'll try to upload a dedicated video showing all the voice commands you can apply to this Note 3. I'll also upload the second part of this tips and tricks series reviews very soon. So please do subscribe and keep in touch. Now you must have already seen this air command wheel. I am not going to show this in this part. Let me show you the new S note which is completely different from the previous S note you have seen on the note 2. If you swipe down any note you can get a preview of the pages and let me give you a walkthrough of all the features of this new S note. First of all this S Pen is highly sensitive to pressure and the writing experience with this new S Pen is I feel a little bit better than that of the previous one. 
mainly because the pressure sensitivity has been increased a lot now with this tool you can do couple of things like you can precisely select any part and you will get this pop-up menu you can transform this to text or any other form that is suitable and you can change the selection mode as well on this new s note you can edit anything you have already put on the note and this is very handy sometimes you can put normal text as usual and the handwriting recognition capability of this phone is just awesome I'll show you some gestures, some tricks on this handwriting mode in the later parts of this review series. So keep in touch. Now here are the pen settings and you are getting 6 type of pens here. You can also add presets that is your frequently used pen settings just set your favorite pen settings and add them to the presets just like this way samsung has added couple of features for business uses and this easy chart is one of them making a chart is now as easy as that you can also change it to pi and you can also edit you can add new entry just like so. You can also precisely edit any single bar. Samsung has preloaded this phone with some illustrations. You can insert clip art or shape. This idea sketch is borrowed from the previous note too. Let's check the handwriting recognition strength of this phone. Well, this bad handwriting has been successfully detected by this phone. You can now move it anywhere, you can resize, you can paint. There is a finger rejection option here, so if you turn it on, your finger will not get detected and you can put your hand over the display to write. Though you should be very careful with the capacitive keys. Now you can write with both finger and the S Pen. You can also change the background and you can enable this grid on this S Note for your convenience. Now I am going to share some useful tricks here on this apps menu. You can change the view type to alphabetical list. If you know the name of the app you are searching then you can get this ASAP with this mode and I personally always set this view type on my phone. Now there is another thing you should know. You can uninstall and also disable some system applications on this Note 3. That is you can hide some sensitive system apps from your friends. Now they cannot access your chat on or download paid apps from the play store or even open the YouTube app and consume huge data. Well, this new Samsung Galaxy Note 3 can operate in a lot of modes. Let's check those out. There is a very useful hands-free mode which is meant to be used while driving but you can use it while cooking, painting, boxing, whenever you want. In this mode, the phone will read out the caller's info and you can accept call just by waving your hand over the display. The phone will also read out the info of messages, calls and schedules. I also use this feature indoor so that I don't have to reach out for the phone every time I get unnecessary calls or messages. In this voice controlled mode you can answer or reject incoming calls, you can put alarm to snooze or stop, you can capture images with camera and also control music. I'll give a demo of all of these things on a separate video. There is also a power saving mode and in this mode the clock speed of the CPU gets lowered and you can save a lot of battery. This mode is mainly suitable while traveling because while you are gaming or using this phone heavily, you should turn this off, otherwise you will face a lot of lag. There are a couple of display modes like this reading mode will give a good contrast level for reading and you can change your preference of color tone from here. There is an easy mode as well. This mode is mainly helpful for those people who are new to Android or smartphone 
or those people who are really old or have poor eyesight. Friends, I think this is enough for the first episode. The second episode is on the way. I will upload around 7 or 8 episodes covering each and every part of this phone step by step. If you are really finding my reviews very helpful and if you are into this phone, then do subscribe to this channel and keep in touch. You can check the description of this video for the other parts of this review series. So thanks for watching guys. See you in the next review. Bye bye and keep in touch. Thank you.